Oh, that's a great way to ride to work, isn't it, Josh? Nice driving. Welcome, everybody, to Caterpillar's Operator Stadium. I'm your host, Rutledge Wood. I've been here all week having a great time with all the different demonstrations we've been doing. If you take any pictures today, anything special, make sure you use the hashtag CatConExpo. Hashtag CatConExpo. What's been so fun, whether you know me from NASCAR on NBC, maybe Hyperdrive on Netflix, or even Top Gear on the History Channel, you know I love all things cars, trucks, anything with an engine. So I've been a Caterpillar fan for a long time, and I jumped at the opportunity to be here and be a part of the Caterpillar family because of the operators and the work they do, because what they do matters. Daybreak. You push yourself out of the darkness, off and gone, before the rest of the house is awake. If you could stay longer with your family, you would. But they know, every time you leave, you're doing it for them. Because your work matters. Today, like every day, there will be challenges to face on your job site. It could be the elements, the overtime, or something unexpected. But you stand strong because you know your employees, your customers, and your community are counting on you. To each of them, your work matters. Like a force of nature, your work transforms the world as we know it. Your skill, your unwavering resolve to do things right. These ensure your efforts will stand the test of time. Your milestones are your legacy. You are a giant. You are a doer. And your work matters to all of us. Now, safety is our number one priority here at Caterpillar. So if everybody can take a look at the big screens, we want to go over a couple of things real quick. If you need ear protection, there are dispensers in each of the grandstands. Most importantly, please do not lean on or climb over the stadium barrier. For safety concerns, reach out to a cat rep in the red shirts or security personnel. And your health is important too. There are hand sanitizer stations located in the stadium. So you saw in the video, that's why we're here, because at the end of the day, your work matters. One of the big things I got to do was go to the training facility in Edwards, Illinois, and get up close and personal with these machines and the operators that use them. And a big part of that is this guy right here, Chad Vermeens, who is the, he is the field operations manager for CAT. He comes up with all sorts of great educational initiatives for the company like these demos. Chad, thanks for being here, buddy. Absolutely, thank you. It's been such a fun week. We've gotten to highlight so many different things, but let's talk about that place and who these people are that yeah. put on these amazing demos. So we're the luckiest folks around. We get to work at the Edwards Demonstration Learning Center. We get to demo this beautiful yellow iron. We get to train and work with folks like all these guys around here, these guys and gals. They're out there running machines every single day. And we get to do really cool marketing endeavors such as this. And then we get to meet you, buddy. I mean, what's so cool to me is that these operators were once customers, right? Yeah, it's, so it was a big process for them to get here. But let's talk about what these operators are going to do today. Yeah, these six guys, we're so blessed to have them. They do such a great job for Caterpillar and for us. And we're going to actually, today we're going to wind up building a stage. And the hard part is we got about 30 minutes to do it. And we got some pretty tight constraints, but I think these guys can do it. Well, you know what? I'm going to get a better vantage point. You guys get after it. Let's let's get it going, man. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. Speaking of these six guys, here's one of them right here. Josh Hayes, how you doing, buddy? Good afternoon, Chad. How are you? I'm fine as frog here. We're ready to go to work, aren't we? I hope so. We got this dirt flipped over. It was a little wet this morning, but now it's totally workable, and we're ready to move some dirt. Tell you what, you're going to see our good friend Tyler here from the dealer. He's coming out to look over the articulated truck, part of the customer value agreement. We have an agreement with our local dealer where uh, 
you know, we're covering, focusing on extended service to preventative maintenance. Tyler's typically the guy we work with. When he's on vacation with his family, his good brother Craig comes out. So working with those two guys works out really well. Great guys. Absolutely. While Tyler's finishing up, I'm going to do my pre-shift walk around. This is something we expect our operators to do every day on all the machines. We expect them to do a pre-shift and post-shift walk arounds. As you know, typically in the past, we usually use uh, paper logs. But what we've been introduced to here recently is the CAD Inspect app. So all of our operators are using the CAD Inspect app. I'm using it on my phone, but you can also use it on a tablet as well. So the beauty of this, and I'll explain a little bit about it as I walk around this truck, is all the items I should be checking as an operator are in this app. That way we know all of our operators are checking everything the same every time and not missing something. So as I walk around, if I see something that needs addressed, all I need to do is add a comment in here. If I want to take a photo, I can do that as well. And then when I'm finished, I can send this off to Jake at the shop back home. And uh, he has record. If he needs to order something, he can do that. Typically, you know, he can keep record of anything that we need. Uh, we've used this in something simple as understanding and looking up real quick uh, the life of our GET on our excavators or our wheel loader buckets, even uh, dozer cutting edges or motor grader cutting edges. It works really nice. So I kind of made my way around this truck. I'm going to climb up in the cab. We're going to move a little dirt. I got a load count. I got to meet by the end of the day, so we might as well get started. Yes, you should, man. You got to hit your count, that's for sure. So you're telling me that uh, you can you can not only track the machine's health, but the GET or the ground engaging tools like cutting edge and wearable items on buckets and whatnot. Is that what you're saying, Josh? Absolutely. When we, uh, you know, replace teeth or cutting edges, those are all recorded electronically. We can go back, look at the hours, and it works great. Perfect. That's great. And that uh, customer value agreement, completely customizable, giving our customers, whether they're large or small customers, giving them peace of mind. Just like we got here, we had our service tech out there before the shift starts, so we can get that stuff accomplished before you even hit the road and uh, head to your machine. So it's a fantastic situation. Hey, Rod, I see you made it up there, buddy. Uh, I sure did, man. I, this is my favorite part. When we get a little loader wave, just really kicks it off. All right, so Chad, let's talk. They're gonna go for tandem loading. Why is that the right thing for here? Well, it, for here it is, because we're trucked up, buddy. We got enough trucks to keep our loaders moving. So whether you're an excavator loading trucks or one lo uh, wheel loader or two wheel loaders, you got to have adequate tr adequate trucking to get your production numbers like Josh was talking about earlier. So right now we are trucked up indeed, and we've got our 972 and our 930. We're going to load this 725 in a, in a very expedited fashion. So there's no better way to get this raw material down the road than tandem loading in a scenario like this. This is cool, and Nathan's operating the 972M. Nathan, tell us a little bit about that machine. Well, I tell you what, Rutledge, this, uh, this 972, it, it's a fabulous machine. We're gonna load this truck fairly quickly here. But what I wanna highlight is just about the bucket itself. So we got that performance series bucket on here. I get uh, decent fill factor, nice full, real easy stuff. And you know, with this material, it's kind of packed in here kind of hard, but I'm still able to dig right into it and get full buckets every time. You couple that with uh, the payload system that's on here, I'm able to get accurate weights and live time, uh, live feed of what actually is in my bucket during all that. You throw that in there with joystick steering, as you can see maneuvering in tight areas, the joystick steering, you know, it's nothing new. It's been around since that K-Series wheel loader came out and it's a proven proven technology and it makes our lives a lot easier. You throw in there the, the four neutral and reverse, the gear change, you can throw in uh, you know, the force feedback steering on there. It all helps us out real well. So Chad, it seems like these loaders operate and feel differently. Why is that? Yeah, well one, the 972 is a mechanical drive system. The 930 is a hydrostatic system. So if you've got an application where you need uh, a power shift transmission with lockup clutch, works out excellent in a heavy load or a load and carry type situation where you're going to create a lot of, a lot of, where you're going to create a lot of transmission heat. That 972 is a great scenario. Or maybe you're in a situation where you need a hydrostatic transmission with seamless torque and seamless speed. Maybe the ability to uh, have creep control and control your wheel, wheel torque, the 930 is another great solution. So 
large or small, we've got solutions. You do. And Kane, you're in the 930 there. I know it's got the Performance Series bucket on it. What can you tell us about those? Yeah, just like my buddy Nathan Myers over there in the 972 Performance Series buckets. What that means is we have a longer uh, floor on this, which is able to let us penetrate the material, the pile, whatever we may be doing to get our bucket fuller, a little bit faster. And then also we have the curved sideboards on this, which helps us retain our material in a load and carry situation, which, you know, what else does a loader do? It loads a truck, it carries material, uh, loads hoppers. It's always kind of depends on the haul roads. It might not be as smooth as you may think. So with that being said, we have our, uh, we have these curved sideboards that really enables us to uh, get our material where we need to go for sure. Well, that's cool, man. So, Chad, what kind of applications would you see these machines used in? Well, a 930 works out great for a municipality or a small load, uh, yard loading application. Again, 972, you see them in a ton of quarries and mines, or they'll also be in a yard loading application. So it's a lot up to our customer's preference, uh, but these machines can handle almost anything that our customers can throw at them. That's awesome. What do those indicator lights mean on the top of the 725 that Josh is in? Well, these machines are so technologically, <laughs> technologically advanced, and yet it's really funny because a simple light is almost one of the most important things on the job when you're in a mining or a load and carry, or excuse me, load and haul type situation like this. So right now, Nathan in the 972, he knows exactly where he's at in regards to how much material is on that truck or needs to be on that truck. When the light is red, he knows he just needs, or excuse me, when it's green, he knows he just needs to keep throwing material on there. And then when it turns flashing red, that gives him an indication that he's within about a bucket of being ready to go. And then eventually, if our material was dense enough, because this is pretty light material, but if it was dense enough, it would go solid red. And then that's gonna tell the operator that, that truck has met its capacity in regards to load. That is super important for our customers for a couple of reasons. One, if we underload that truck, and let's say, hypothetically speaking, we loaded out uh, 30 loads today, and we do that five days a week, that adds up big if you're underloaded. You're not moving as much material as you could or should be moving, and you're not hitting your production numbers. Now let's look at it from another perspective. Let's say you overload it every single time, then you're adding additional wear and tear on that truck that is unnecessary. So we're helping our customers meet their production goals and also keep their wear and tear at a minimum. It's a big deal. Josh, you're in that 725. How's it feel to you? This thing is awesome, Brad. I tell you one of the coolest features about me, right? Option that I can activate here on the, the panel on my right hand side. And what that does when I'm dumping the material, I can pull up, put the shift cane in neutral, it applies the service brake, and when I hit the hoist, it goes full engine RPM and, and all, automatically raises all the way to the top. Then when I lower the bed, after I pull forward, it applies the service brake again, lowers the bed down, full RPM, so that powers down. That's a super nice feature to have. Also, you know, the transmission cane, and the, the hoist lever are all in one, so I never have to take my hand off of one lever, and just with a flick of my index finger, I can dump, lower the bed. It's a really nice feature. That's cool, man. You know, if you're just joining us here at Operator Stadium, these six operators right now are creating a stage to display all of these amazing machines. Then coming up in just a little while, you'll be able to get out there in the dirt yourself Hop in the cab of any one of these machines. And Chad, that's what I think makes this stuff so special. These operators are able to really use these machines and show them shine, but the machines get the work done for those operators. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're, we're giving our customers the tools they need to get their job done, be productive, be safe, and go home at night and hang out with their families and do what they need to do. So it's a great scenario. And these operators here, or we call them demonstrating instructors, they're doing a great job of mimicking what all these people out here do every single day. It's awesome. That's for sure. Now, this is one of my favorite parts because our man Speedo is making his way up to the top in the 325. Boy, if you're going to make an arrival, that's the way to do it. Speedo, 
Tell us about that machine, buddy. Hey, last time I get to climb the berm in 2020 at Con Expo. Oh, so man. Glad we had a lot of people come out today and, uh, and watch these amazing machines. So hope everybody's seeing the pattern here that Cat's really focusing on the operator. There's a lot of uh, people out there doing a lot of different things, and that's kind of one of the big things that we're looking at is we want to make these machines work the way our customers need them. So the 325, often working in really tight areas, uh, you know, we load this thing up with some technology straight from the factory. Uh, got the option for the camera. Uh, right now we got the 360 degree camera pulled up. I can see that truck sitting right behind me. Uh, tell me that's not a situation that we don't always deal with when the boss pulls up and uh, wants to park right in the way. So, uh, <laughs> Dude, I can hear you. Oh, sorry, Chad, just kidding. Uh, so I got to get ready back uh, to loading this truck here. So another feature we've got uh, going to start using here right now uh, as Josh backs up is click of a button. I just turned on the payload feature. So I know exactly how much weight is in the bucket right now as I dump this truck into the truck. So that's good, Josh. So right there, three tons. Really great system, tracks the material, or tracks the uh, weight. So as I'm loading these trucks up, every bucket I grab, I know exactly what it weighs. Uh, not a huge deal, but being able to track number of buckets. And then uh, at the end of the day, we can pull that information out with the USB or uh, even pull it up on the computer in the office and uh, not have to carry that paper around or that clicker in the cab and uh, count those trucks all day long. You know, these things are working in super tight areas, lots going on, lots to worry about. We've got e-fence, so I can keep that bucket from going anywhere or the boom anywhere I don't want, making my job easier in the cab. Uh, got assist, which helps me maintain grade, you know, taking one less thing for me to worry about. Uh, we can add in lift assist, so I know exactly what I'm lifting as I'm dropping it down in the hole. Tons and tons of options for our customers to use in different ways because everybody's doing a lot of work and they're doing it a lot of different ways. It's so cool, Chad. I, I love too, if anybody was here earlier for the technology demo, Speedo was just talking about a lot of different things that help make the job easier, help you calculate your efficiency, your productivity, but they don't take more time. They're things that are happening at the same time as the work getting done. Yeah, exactly. No one has extra time. Time is money, and we're working really hard to help our customers out in that area. That's for sure. Now, I see the 440 just came in. Let's talk a little bit about those seat-mounted controls. Why is that such a big deal on those? Yeah, Tyler's in that uh, 440. Uh, Caterpillar's done a great job for many years producing backhoe loaders that our customers uh, are very productive and very comfortable in, but we're magnifying it with this 440. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Increased power, increased comfort. He's got joystick controls, or excuse me, he's got seat-mounted joystick controls, making him more productive and more comfortable in any kind of terrain. And another thing too, like our customers, they do crazy things with these machines on a regular basis, jumping trenches, whatever the case may be. And we've given them the ability where they can swing the seat, seat sideways, hit a trigger on their uh, joystick, and they can go from a, what we call dual mode. You can run the backhoe loader or you can run the front loader, just like Tyler's doing right now. If he wanted to reset, he would just click that button, raise his front loader, and then reset, and then go back uh, to running the backhoe at the end. So it's a great little tool. It's another tool in the toolbox for our backhoe loader operators to be productive. Now, I also heard Cat's launching five new backhoes this year. Yeah, we've got the 415 through the 430, and these machines, these backhoe loaders are so extremely versatile and somehow some way our engineering team down in North Carolina has figured out how to make them even more versatile it's an awesome thing that's way cool now it's really cool for me to watch all of this come together see this stage being built cat's been known for making tractors and they've been making dozers for almost 95 years now the d6xe that's out there the world's first high drive electric dozer hood what makes that thing so special well, considering it is the first elevated sprocket electric drive dozer, that's one thing that makes it really special. It gives you a lot more power to the ground, a lot more torque, and gives you the ability to turn under load. You know, that's not really typically something we do in a mechanical drive dozer, um, but with this electric drive technology they have on these machines, it really does give you the power to actually carry a load, turn in a load, and actually cut during a radius. Pretty nice feature. That's a big deal, man. Tell you what, something else that he really did, like Speedo said earlier, focusing on the operator. This cab, this total redesigned cab in this machine, gives the operator a lot more comfort, comfort in the seat, comfort in the, I can adjust these uh, control pods however I want them, forward, backwards, up and down. Uh, 
more room in the cab, increased visibility, and man, this air conditioner works pretty good in here right now. I know you guys are all pretty cold out there, but I'm nice and comfortable in here. But... Oh, I dig it, John. You know, John once met, uh, who was it, Troy Aikman? Troy Aikman, yeah, he shook his hand. He hasn't washed it since, which isn't going to work out these days. But, no, no, you know, he's, yeah. he's, he's I don't know he's if anybody knows the guy. But... A lot. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Troy Aikman's a big deal, John, but you're a much bigger deal. <laughs> I appreciate it, Russ. Man, I like seeing all of these different things happen at one time. And remind folks, if they wanted to go, there are so many people who've been trained by these six operators. They're in Edwards, Illinois. They also do remote training in some other parts of the world and even on their site, right? Yeah, for sure. So we use the equipment training solutions. Um, and we've got a team of folks that write curriculum, working with engineers, working with our operators to make sure that we're putting out the best product we can possibly put out. And then we go and get guys like this. They've literally been there and done that, and they represent Caterpillar to the best of their ability. And they're there for the right reasons because they've been that end user, and they understand what it takes to uh, kind of put food on your table in regards to your ability to run machines. That's so cool. We just saw the 310 come out. I've heard that's an industry leader because of the operator experience. Nathan, you're inside there. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I tell you what, Rutledge, the, the operator experience in here is something else. They've really changed this machine completely. So what I mean by that is, how about joystick steering? So that same control that you'd be used to with like a, a skid steer or a CTL, same sort of thing. So on my left hand, I can control my, my tracks, left and right, forward, reverse just with the click of a button. And while I'm in, in that mode, I can also do my, my house swing, I can do uh, the boom bucket, even control my blade if I wanted to. So it really changes it up. You tie that in with uh, this, uh, the blade that's on the front, giving me that extra more or less stability. I can lift up to eight, uh, 10,000 pounds additionally, eight feet high. So it, it's really a game changer out there for the, for the industry. You throw that in the touch screen display, pretty awesome. That's huge, man. It really seems like Caterpillar is paying attention to some of the changes in the automotive industry and bringing some of that same stuff to the operator. Is it true that thing's got Bluetooth in there? Uh, you better believe it. And you know what? I've been playing a whole bunch of music throughout this weekend, but I got something special going on in here. Oh, what are you playing? I'm Little Queen, we are the champions. Because you know what? Caterpillar, their customers, employees, everyone out there, we're all champions. Amen to that. Ah, oh, Chad, he's been really working those playlists in there this week. Yeah, yeah. I think he wore out the Yanni one, and now he's moved on. I understand. Now, this 150 right here, this was one of the things I was most excited about to get up close and personal with. Josh, you're operating it, and I know you're so good in this, they call you Velvet Fingers, but <laughs> tell us a little bit about that 150. I tell you what, really, it's this 150 that's a, a Cadillac of machines. As you can see from, you know, looking in the cab, this is completely controlled with two joystick levers, so it controls the steering and all the implement functions of the entire machine. But, you know, uh, thinking about the Caterpillar Motor Grader product line, you know, we're all about choices. We want to give the customer the choices that they want. So. You know, we also offer steering wheel and lever machine as well. And I've been talking to a lot of customers this week that just didn't know we were in that business. But so I encourage everybody, if you're interested in looking at a steering wheel and lever machine, run out to gate number two and take a look at that. Those are, that's a really nice machine as well. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there, you know, wondering about the massless GPS on this machine. It is really nice. Uh, it gets the the hardware, the equipment that typically is on top of the moldboard, out of harm's way. So you'll notice that the receivers are up on top of the cab, the radio radio is up on top of the cab. I don't have to worry about getting those components into the windows, the cab, the handrails, and I can concentrate on my work at hand. So that is, that's super nice. Um, I've been running this machine now for a couple weeks out here. It puts down grade like you wouldn't believe. I consider this as a game changer out there. Um, you just can't ask for any better because it gives me the full versatility of what this machine was designed for. You know, I can still go in high bank if I need to. I can, you know, move the draw bar left and right, still stay accurate. I can hit the wheels, I can articulate, I can do anything I want to do, and this thing still always is on grade. So it's a pretty awesome machine. You know, one other thing that's coming real handy today is all-wheel drive. So you can tell this machine is an all-wheel drive machine. Um, this morning we were working with a lot of mud. 
working in this radius here. It's kind of soft material. It helps me pull around the radius and stay on line. That helps me out a lot as well. Uh, with this, with this all-wheel drive, Rutledge, I call it uh, the set it, forget it, just like a Traeger. You have a Traeger at home? You know I do. Absolutely. So you just, you know, you set the all-wheel drive to the torque you want, and it takes care of itself. And the operator doesn't have to worry about it. Really nice. That's awesome. You know what? Sometime maybe we can uh, we can smoke a little barbecue together. You uh, and me. Absolutely. I'll put Rod, on my he also calendar. he also has the Ron Popeil pocket fisherman. So. Well, yeah, who doesn't? Right. <laughs> I mean, great point. All right, I see a third excavator just entered. Speedo, you're in that, the 313 GC. A lot different from, from some of the other machines we're seeing out here. Yeah, similar, but, you know, it's just a little more simple if you think of it that way. So, you know, the 325 I was out in earlier, uh, almost the exact same cab. In fact, almost the exact same cab as that 395 sitting out front. So, man, if you get a chance, run over there, take a look at that thing, talk to Brian Neal, Brian Stelbrink. If you can't find them there at the uh, 395 after the show, come out on the floor, jump in the cab of these things, you'll be amazed. Uh, Touchscreen display, super nice controls for the operator, uh, making every, you know, all those things that we've been talking about, making the operator uh, what it is with the options. Lots and lots of options on this thing. Uh, you know, even just getting up in and to the cab, making my uh, ground level checks in the morning. No longer have to uh, climb up. I can check the oil in this 313 from the ground. Uh, as I'm doing this grading here, got a nice long stable undercarriage, 28 feet of reach. So I'm doing almost the exact same work with that 325 right now. You can throw in some work tools on this, uh, maybe do some mulching, uh, plate compactors. So simple machine, just a different offering for our wonderful customers uh, doing the work. And is that true that one doesn't take DEF? Yes, so making my job even more easy. One less thing for me to worry about, you know, 28 feet of reach, doing some light grading, and uh, not having to deal with that def fluid is just one more thing for a positive for me. That's awesome. It's all about lowering the cost for the operator, giving people what they want. In that same vein, Chad, there are a ton of new models for 2020. Yeah, Caterpillar, I, that's one thing I'm super proud of Caterpillar. They do a great job of listening to our customers. I mean, all these guys around here, they probably don't even realize how much impact they have on us. And the partnership we have with our customers, in my opinion, is just truly uh, unprecedented. We listen to our customers. Some of them want 3D capability. They want all the machines to be able to, uh, you know, read off of one design. And some of them just want to turn a key and start the darn thing and go dig a trench for crying out loud. You know, they don't want anything. They want to throw some diesel in it and move on. So. Because of that, CATS launched 50 products in 2020, or excuse me, in the last 12 months, and then they're gonna launch another 50 in 2020. It's pretty amazing. It's just, you listen to your customers and good things happen, buddy. That's huge, and let's not forget about equipment management solutions, because it's not just about your machines, it's also about the job site, right? Yeah, completely, yeah. It doesn't matter what you're doing, if you're driving a car, if you're driving a race car rut, or if you're running a piece of equipment in the field, if you don't take care of it, it isn't going to last very long. I mean, heat and dirt, all those things creates wear on your components. And if you work really hard with your equipment management, you can actually maintain that stuff and give it a longer life, if you will. And that helps keep the value up, keep your production high, and keep your owning and operating costs low. So CAT's done a great job of creating an app that our customers can throw on their phone, and they can literally help manage their equipment from afar or while they're on the site. It works out great. They've got the uh, the opportunity to basically spot problems before they even happen. That's a big deal. It seems like Cat's really using all of this evolving technology, but they're really strong about putting it in all these new models. Why are they so so convinced on that? I mean, we live in demanding times, right? And at the end of the day, competition is really high. I don't care what market you're in. I don't care if you're selling watches or if you're building building pads for uh, the next strip mall, competition's extremely high. So any competitive advantage that our customers can have, it's a bonus. I mean, ultimately, it seems like cats listen to the customers, give them what they want. But the technology that I love, so many times people think it's gonna bog them down, it's another step. But when all of these machines are talking and thinking, it, it's just like your smartphone, it's doing way more stuff without you knowing. 
So yeah. speaking of smart, let's talk about some of the smart attachments I keep hearing about. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got our D3, 299 and 289. They're part of our compact track loader family. We also have D3 skid steer loaders, and those machines have the capability to work with our new smart attachment. I think there's three of them out there right now, the smart backhoe loader, the smart dozer blade, and then Tyler's out there on the smart grader blade. So what's so smart about it? If I take my D3 skid steer loader and hook up to my uh, smart backhoe loader, my controls automatically change over. The machine recognizes what attachment it is, and it's absolutely seamless so i literally don't have to learn a new pattern i don't have to figure out how to run this thing it runs like a backhoe that's so cool yeah it's awesome it's seamless and think about it like this you know who can throw a motor grader on the back of the pickup and head down the road with a trailer in the three-quarter ton and get a job done or a backhoe or whatever well you can when you have one of these d3s tyler how do you like that smart grader blade you're using it right now well what i really love it it allows me to really just do anything that I really need to do, you know, like Chad said, being able to click a button and go from compact track loader to the smart attachment. With this thing, you know, I got circle, I got tilt, I got up and down. I also got these wings here, so I can move these in like so. And now I got a kind of got a box blade, you know, I can just prowl this dirt. I can open them up, put it where I need to go, you know, I can get on a, like a long lane going back somewhere, you know, and put a crown on that road, make it drain real nice. And I tell you what, you know, Cat did a real nice job. I'd say they had another perfect on this one. Yeah, I like your style there. Kane, you're in at 299. Uh, we've heard a lot about the cab and why it's so good for operators. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, right. Again, uh, we've listened to the, our operators, uh, listened to our customers kind of trying to meet their needs, right? Needs and concerns, of course, is kind of what Caterpillar is about. So if we can improve upon just a few little things to make these machines um, a lot more comfort for the operator to be able to sit in, it's going to make their job easier, right? And it's going to make them happier. So us operators, it takes a lot to make us happy, really. So we like to complain a lot about a lot of different things. But, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, if they can help us out, we'll be more happier. So. Again, give a shout out to all the customers and all the dealers out here today. Uh, thanks for coming. And uh, hey, thanks for helping us out. Kane, thank you, buddy. You guys have been making it look so good out here all week long. The CS56B is out here. John, you are operating that right now. I know sometimes that's not always like the, the machine of choice, right? Sometimes you kind of feel like low man getting that one yeah low man on the totem pole or just even a green operator kind of gets them out there gets them on the job site gets them the experience they need to you know gain that skill and uh just become a better operator but i tell you what what cat's done with these cabs and uh these machines and how they operate the seat mounted controls i don't know if you guys can hear that beeping or not but what that beeping is is if you guys see these black sensors on the front of the machine and the back of the machine that's actually a radar detect system um, as I approach something that I don't see, it's not in my line of sight or someone walks out in front of me or drops something behind me, that radar will go off and it'll alert me audibly, and not visually. I don't have to be looking at my backup camera. It'll give me that buzzer out there saying, hey, there's something behind you. If I want to pull forward, check it out. Um, that's another nice feature on this machine. Pair that with the rear vision camera. When you go to back up, it's a pretty nice feature, pretty nice machine. That's cool. And Chad, where does that come from? That well, yeah, that unit comes out of our uh, Minneapolis Paving Products Group, and they do a bang up job for us. We've got a ton of paving customers out there that are dedicated to Caterpillar, and we recognize it and appreciate it. And they do a nice job of providing them the best possible machines we can get out there. So we've got this CS56 that's going to help get your base right. And then you got a pavers, and you got rollers, you got pneumatic rollers, you got road reclaimers, mills. You got anything you need if you're a paving contractor, and we got some expertise up there that can help you out. That's so cool. Now, something that I definitely want to take home is what you're saying about that UTV. Actually, right, this one sold, buddy. I apologize. Oh, did you buy that? I no, I did not. You should have. I, I, you're right. I should have because it's pretty sweet. It's got an electric power steering, so when you're out there, you know, raising cane, if you will, like you and uh, Josh Hayes were earlier. 
He can keep control the entire time. We've got the steel bed. Sometimes our customers are pretty hard on their stuff. I mean, they're in rough work, right? Yeah. So it's got to be rough. Holds a thousand pounds and it's got hoist lift uh, for the bed. It's pretty sweet, man. That's a big deal. Plus, it, diesel or gas, two seat or five seat. I mean, the fact that there's a diesel one alone, you can get out there. You don't have another fuel you need to take to the site. That's huge. So for people who are wondering, they want to know more about a cat. They want to operate one. If you're interested in one, what are your options? Yeah, we, we've got options. You know, we've got 165 dealers globally, and all of them have multiple options. So let's say you've got a, a cat machine that's getting a little long in the tooth. You know, it's getting a little age on it. But maybe you're near and dear to it. Well, you've got the ability to work with your dealer and rebuild that machine, get it close to new with a CAP certified rebuild program. We also, in some scenarios, have the ability to throw on new technology on your, uh, your older machines, kind of help bringing them up to the latest and greatest as best we can. And then maybe you got a big job coming up. You only need a, a new excavator or a new loader for a, a day or a week or a month. Go to one of our rental stores. We have 800 of them across the U.S. They're going to help you out a ton, too. And then let's say you're ready to buy, but you don't want to write that big check. We've got CAT certified used. They have a very, very strenuous um, program for our used machines, 140-point inspection. And oftentimes, they will use machines out of the rental fleet. And that's a real bonus because they know how they're maintained because the dealer's maintaining them. And they know how they've been treated. So they put them in the, uh, the CAT certified use program, works out awesome. And then if you're ready to buy, uh, to buy a new one, maybe a brand new shiny little 301.5 or, or maybe a 930 or 725 or whatever it is you're after to fit your needs, we do have new, of course, and working with our CAT financial group, you've got zero finance available on a lot of different items. Wow, yeah. zero, that's like nothing. It's super close. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible to see how quickly these machines manage to build all this, or I should say the operators in these machines. I got to believe, Chad, these guys are the best of the best. Well, in my personal opinion, they are, that's for sure. They, uh, these guys do a bang up job, uh, you know, just like our customers. It's raining. It's been kind of cruddy this week. There's a lot of unique things going on in the world we're in right now, and they're here. And so are we. Caterpillar is here. And we're here because of these guys, which is awesome. And we're here because of the customers. And then the cool part is, like, look at everybody around in the red shirts. We got Jason Bowers and his team. You know, we got paving products folks over here. We got rental over here. We got service over here. We got technology over here. They're here because they want to be. Caterpillar didn't tell them they had to be here. Caterpillar gave them the choice. And they're here, just like our customers. It's a big deal, and it shows through in everything we do. Not only a beautiful road like this, but you go talk to Sam Meeker on the dozer, and you're going to hear true, honest information that's informative, and it's going to help you out. And I think it's a big deal for Cat. Cat's only as good as its people, buddy. It is. These operators, they came from you guys, and they are the best of the best trained by Cat. We're proud to support you, the titans of the trades. With the next generation of equipment, the most advanced technology, and a whole new range of tools and services to keep you at the top of your game. So you can accomplish what matters most to you. Let's do the work. Can everyone give our operators that have worked so hard this week a big round of applause? My guys and Chad have made this look so easy all day long, every day. Getting out here at the crack of dawn, flipping soil for us. You guys, we're so proud of y'all. You did an amazing job. If everybody can look up at the big screens, we've got a QR code for you. If you take your camera phone out, go take a picture of that. That's the great giveaway. It's going to give you a link you can follow. You'll be checking in for the main event. We've got all sorts of great stuff we're giving away. Cat hats, cat phones, Speedo's college yearbook. We've also got a cat mini excavator and so much more. So make sure you follow that check in.
And we're getting ready to head down in the dirt so you guys can check out all these incredible machines. When you're done in the dirt, make sure to check out all four hubs. You got services, technology, attachments, rental and use. And I'm as excited as everybody else is to get up close and personal with these machines. Before I invite everyone to head down, I want to remind you that safety is a top priority here at Caterpillar. So take a look at the big screens. We want to make sure everyone's on the same page here. Please safely enter the dirt on the stair platform closest to the building. Do not climb over the barriers. If anyone needs any special assistance, please inform one of the security officers at the stairs. Appropriate footwear is required to access the arena. No heels, no open toe shoes, no sandals. When entering and exiting the machines, please use the intended access points, face the machine, and use three points of contact at all times. And remember, when entering and exiting the machines, no jumping is allowed. Your health is important too. There's hand sanitizer stations located all around the stadium and no alcohol in the dirt. All right, let's go time. Also, if you want to get a picture with our amazing operators, just uh, come on down. They'd love to. They're incredibly skilled. They're sweet people. And we're real proud of them. Also, coming up in just a minute, we got a special treat. Mike Rowe is going to be here. Uh, he's getting ready to have a chat with Jess, so hang tight. We'll see you in a second.